Is the new Bradshaw Rye any good, or is it just another celebrity money grab? I'll let you know, coming up. What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of with or without whiskey the show where i give you the history and review of all things whiskey i'm ryan and on today's episode i'll be reviewing bradshaw rye enough talk let's get into it bradshaw rye is the newest addition to former steelers quarterback terry bradshaw's whiskey lineup it was released at the end of 2021 distilled at the green river distillery and produced by Silver Screen Bottling Company. It has a 95.5 rye mash bill and is a two-year-old straight rye whiskey. On the front of the bottle, it has the four Super Bowls Terry Bradshaw has won, plus his signature underneath. On the side of the bottle, it has the years 1974, 75, 78, and 79, which are the years Terry Bradshaw was in and won a Super Bowl. It also has an ABV of 51.9%, which is Bradshaw's pass completion percentage. Bradshaw Rye is a Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey and has a mash bill of 95% rye and 5% malted barley. It is two years old, has no added coloring, and costs about $40. So in case you haven't noticed, my dog Angel decided to pop in for a visit today. So if you see a little white head popping up, it's her. All right, let's get into the review. All right. So, as always, we'll start out looking at the color. So, it's got a nice little golden tint to it. Nothing too dark, but I don't really expect a dark whiskey from something that's aged about two years. So it's not really gonna develop too much color in that amount of time. But let's get into the nose. All right, so on the nose, I'm getting a good amount of sweetness. There's some cherry, there's a little bit of apple. I'm getting some vanilla and some caramel. After that, you kind of get hit with that heavy rye punch. There's definitely some cloves, some cinnamon, and that like black licorice star anise kind of scent. It's got a little bit of a grassy note to it. And then there's this kind of melon scent, almost like cantaloupe or honeydew. It really doesn't smell too young on the nose. Let's see how it is on the taste. Cheers, guys. Okay, on the taste, it's a little bit harsh right up front. The first thing you get is like super sweet cherry, but then it goes into a, a heavy rye punch. Like there's big cinnamon, a lot of cloves, and that black pepper note is right there up front. There's some vanilla in there as well. And then right on the tail end, you're getting an oak heavy note. As you sip it a little bit more, you start to get a little bit of molasses, but that's not really the strongest note in here. The finish is pretty short. There's not really too much going on. You get a little bit of oak, you get a little bit of that black pepper kind of aftertaste, and there's a lingering hint of vanilla, but it's really not too complex. Let's see what happens when we add a little bit of water. But before we do that, don't forget guys to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Not only does it show support for the channel, but it helps other people find us as well. All right. Let's get some water in here. One, two. What are you making noises for? Well, mix it up a little bit and get right into the nose. Okay, on the nose, there's definitely not as big of a rye punch. It definitely got mellowed out a lot more. There's heavy cherry, vanilla, and a little bit of caramel. So it doesn't smell as harsh as it was before. 
Let's see what we got on the taste. Okay, same thing. With the water, there's definitely more cherry. There's definitely some vanilla on there. I'm getting a heavy oak and there's still a good amount of cinnamon and black pepper, but it's definitely not as crazy as it was without the water. The finish is a little bit more complex. There's definitely some oak, but there's a, a lingering caramel note with, again, that kind of molasses kind of taste sticking around at the end. Let's try one more, see what happens. Yeah, cherry, vanilla, oak. There's a little bit of that black pepper molasses note, but honestly, the water didn't really change the taste too much. It just kind of mellowed out that heavy rye punch. All right, stick around for the grade. All right, so for Bradshaw rye, I think I'm gonna give it a grade of 59 out of 100. This is probably the whiskey with the most potential I've ever had. Like it's definitely pretty good for what it is for that two year age statement. It's got a decent amount of complexity, uh, rye spice on the nose, pretty sweet, a little grassy. The taste was vanilla, cinnamon, cloves, molasses, and black pepper. The finish could definitely use some development. And with the water, there really wasn't any different notes coming through. I feel like if this had two more years on it, like if it was a, a four-year-old minimum, it would be a lot better than what it is. So for Bradshaw Rye, I think I'm gonna go without it. Like I said, it's definitely got potential. If they give it two more years, keep the same price and nothing else changes, this would definitely be a really, really good rye whiskey. But 40 to $50 for a two-year-old rye that's tasting like this, I really can't get behind it too much. Look, if you're a Steelers fan and you wanna get this as a collectible item, go for it. It's really cool, it's a nice looking bottle, and it's got all of Terry Bradshaw's stats on it. But if you're getting this just to drink it, I'd say wait a little bit longer to see if they give it a little bit more age. All right, well, that does it for today's episode of With or Without Whiskey. If you enjoyed the episode and you had a good time and you liked meeting Angel, please leave me a comment below. Also, if you have any recommendations for a new whiskey you want me to review, please leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, no matter how busy you are, there's always time for a drink with friends. Stay safe, guys. I can't with you.